Hi everyone, I'm Elijah D. Welcome to Music Greatness. For today's lesson, I'm going to break down Golden Slumber. And it goes just like this. Alright, for this part we're going to take a look at the intro and the verse. We're playing in the key of C. And for the chords we're starting with A minor 7. Playing octave A on the left. A, C, G, right hand. Then we have D minor. Octave D. A, D, F. So that's D minor, second inversion, going upper fourth on G7, octave G, G, B, F. And then we have the one chord being C, C major, octave C. Now we're playing four notes, G, C, E, G. Moving up a third on E7, octave E, B, D, E, and G sharp on top. Now going back to A minor 7 with a different voicing. So still playing octave A on the left, but now on the right hand I have G, A, C, and E on top. And finally, also have D minor 9. Again, octave D on the left, but for the right hand, F, A, C, E. The minor third, fifth, the seventh, and the ninth. Okay, let me break down this very short intro. We're only playing this. So here I have the pattern we're going to use on the right hand for pretty much the entire song. I'm going to play the top notes and then play a back and forth with the bottom notes. So that's for the right hand. So here the top notes are C and G and the bottom note is A. So playing in eighth notes, one and two and three and four and simply play the back and forth. One and two and three and four and. So again, top note, bottom note, top note, bottom note. One and two and three and four and. And that's what we're going to do for one measure for the intro. Only one measure. And then after that, we're starting the verse. And we're starting it playing the same thing over A minor seven for one measure. One and two and three and four and. and then again, same thing for another measure, now with the left. One and two and three and four and. That's the first two measures of the verse. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. Then I'm going to continue now playing over D. So I'm still playing in 8th notes, but here, as you can see, I'm going to change the notes I'm using of a D minor. So I'm starting with this, so here the top notes are D and F, and the bottom note is again A. Okay, so it goes like this, 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and. So starting on the 3rd beat, I'm going to move up the top notes and play E and G. One and two and three and four and one. Then next measure, I'm playing F and A. One and two and three and four and. 
then still in that measure, third beat, I'm going to play E and G. And on the fourth, I'm changing back again on D and F. So one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. And if you noticed, I replayed D on the left on the first beat. Okay, so one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and so that's for D minor then we have G on the right hand we're playing the same thing for two measures back and forth between B and F and G one and two and three and and on the left, I'm playing G on the first beat. And then for the next measure, what I'm going to do is play a quick G down one octave and then complete with the tap G. One and two and three and four and one, two and three and four and. And the tap G will be played on the first beat of the second measure of G7. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. All right, let's continue. We have C. Only for half a measure because we're going to play C and then directly after that E7. So for C, the top notes are C, E and G and the bottom note is G. Down one octave. One and two and. Then we have E7. And here the pattern is just a little bit different. So we have B, D, E, G sharp. Instead of playing this, with B being the bottom note, we're going to play B, E, G sharp and play the back and forth with D. Like this. Again, one and two and three and four and. Then we have this. So I played A minus seven back to the pattern we had. So here the top notes are A, C, E, bottom note is G going to D minor 9 top notes A C E bottom note F 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and I'm going to stay a little bit longer on that D minor 9 for two more beats so 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 all right, so let's change how we're going to count this movement. So we have one and two and three and four and, and then starting here, we're going to count up to six beats. Okay, like this. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and five and six and. Okay, and then we have G7 now playing this. So just like we did with D minor, we're going to keep the same pattern, but we're going to change the notes we're playing, like this. So I'm starting with B in between here, then C, after that D, and then back to B. One, two, three, four. And on the left, I'm playing octave G, A, B, octave G again, and then playing C for one measure. Ending the first verse. Again. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. 
Okay, let's replay the verse from the top. Two, three, four. One, 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 two, three, four. And one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One more time. Two, three, four. A minor, only the right hand. And then with the left. Going to D minor. Change the notes on the right hand. Then G7. Two measures. Going to C. E7. A minor 7 and then D minor 9. Finishing with G. Going to C for one measure. One more time. Perfect. If you got everything, let's recap and replay the intro and verse at full speed. And that's all there is for this first part. For the rest of the song, please head over to musicgreatness.com. As always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.